Welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're exploring the captivating beauty of Namibia, a southwestern African gem known for its stunning landscapes and diverse wildlife. Join us as we delve into the rich history, landscapes and culture of this extraordinary nation. Namibia is a country located in southern Africa, bordering the South Atlantic Ocean. With a land area of over 824,000 square kilometers, it is the 34th largest country in the world. The country's geography is incredibly diverse, consisting of deserts, grasslands, mountains, and coastal regions. Namibia has a coastline that stretches for over 1,570 kilometers along the South Atlantic Ocean. The coastal region consists of the Namib Desert, considered the oldest desert in the world, which reaches inland 80 to 100 kilometers from the coastline. Along the coast is the Namib Naukluft National Park, containing mountain ranges, dunes and areas of vegetation sustained by fog moisture from the ocean. The coastal region also includes cities such as Swakopmund, Walvis Bay and Luderitz, which rely on fishing and ocean resources. Inland from the coastal region lies the central plateau region with elevations between 1,000 to 2,000 meters. This plateau covers much of central Namibia and consists of rugged hills, mountains and vast plains. The plateau is generally dry with minimal rainfall, but some wetlands provide important water sources for wildlife. Major cities found in the central plateau include the capital Windhoek and Groot Fontaine. The eastern half of Namibia consists of the Kalahari Desert, which the country shares with Botswana and South Africa. The Kalahari is a massive sand basin covering over 900,000 square kilometers. While very arid, the Kalahari Desert contains some wetlands, dry savannas and grasslands that support wildlife. The eastern Kalahari region remains largely uninhabited and contains Kaudum National Park. The main rivers in Namibia are the Orange River, which forms the southern border with South Africa, the Kuneni River in the north and the Kavango River in the northeast. These rivers are an important source of water for irrigation and wildlife. As rainfall is scarce, the country has constructed several major dams to supply water, including the Hardap, Nauta and Von Bach dams. Namibia is home to diverse ethnic groups and languages. The country's population is around 2.5 million, according to World Bank data. The largest ethnic group in the country is the Ovembo, making up about half of the population. The Ovembo live mainly in northern Namibia and are a Bantu ethnic group. Other major ethnic groups include the Kavango, Herero, Himba, Damara, Nama, Caprivian, San and Swana. The San, also known as Bushmen, are indigenous hunter-gatherers of Namibia. The European population in Namibia is small, but includes Afrikaners and German Namibians. Christianity is the dominant religion in Namibia today. About 80 to 90 percent of Namibians are Christian, mostly Lutheran and Roman Catholic. Indigenous religions are still practiced by many ethnic groups, often alongside Christianity. These traditional belief systems center around ancestor worship and the reverence of natural forces. Other religions in Namibia include Islam, Judaism, Buddhism, the Baha'i faith and Hinduism. However, these religious groups combined make up less than 5% of the total population. Although English is the official language, the most widely spoken language is Oshiwambo. Oshiwambo is the language of the Ovambo people, and around half of Namibians speak it. Other major indigenous languages include Nama Damara, Herero, Kavango, Caprivi, and San. Most Namibians can speak more than one native language. German and Afrikaans are also widely spoken as remnants of colonial influence. 
Namibia is located in southern Africa and is home to a variety of flavorful dishes and ingredients. The cuisine has been influenced by the different ethnic groups in the country, as well as neighboring countries. These are some of the most popular Namibian foods. One of the most well-known Namibian foods is biltong, dried cured meat, similar to beef jerky. Slices of meat are salted and spiced with ingredients like coriander, black pepper and chili powder before being air-dried. Biltong makes for a tasty, protein-packed snack. These wild mushrooms are collected during Namibia's rainy season and widely used in Namibian cooking. Omajowa mushrooms have a rich, earthy flavor and meaty texture. They can be sautéed, stewed, or simply grilled over an open fire. This hearty stew contains meat and vegetables like onions, tomatoes, potatoes, and pumpkin. Slow cooked in a pot over coals, the stew takes on wonderful smoky flavors. Pochiecos is a popular dish across southern Africa, including Namibia. Archaeological evidence shows some of the earliest human settlements in Namibia, dating back to the Stone Age over one million years ago. Ancient rock art and stone tools provide insight into these hunter-gatherer societies. During the first millennium AD, the San and Koiko peoples migrated into the region. The Bantu-speaking groups moved in around the 14th century. The first Europeans to arrive were the Portuguese in the late 15th century. However, it was not until the 19th century that European colonization intensified under the Germans. Germany gained control of the area in 1884 and it was named German Southwest Africa. They exploited the region for resources and ruthlessly repressed local rebellions. After World War I, the League of Nations mandated South Africa to administer the territory. Under apartheid, native Namibians faced discrimination and segregation. In 1966, the Southwest Africa People's Organization launched a guerrilla war for independence. After decades of conflict, the country finally gained independence from South Africa in 1990. Namibia has enjoyed relative political stability since independence. While issues like poverty and inequality persist, the mining, fishing and tourism sectors have supported economic growth. It continues to reconcile its colonial past while building a more prosperous future. Namibia is one of the most stable economies in Africa, with well-developed infrastructure, rich natural resources and a sizable industrial sector. The country's GDP is roughly $12.9 billion according to World Bank data. Namibia's main economic sectors are mining, agriculture, fishing and tourism. Mining accounts for over 10% of GDP with diamonds, uranium, copper, zinc and other minerals being key exports. Commercial agriculture consists of cattle and sheep ranching, as well as crop farming. Fishing is also important, with the country being Africa's largest marine diamond exporter. Tourism continues to grow, attracted by its wildlife and natural scenery. Namibia faces high rates of poverty, unemployment and income inequality, despite its upper middle income status. Over half the population depends on subsistence agriculture. Water scarcity hinders agriculture and frequent droughts can slow economic growth. Being a small economy, the country is vulnerable to external market shocks. Namibia is home to a vibrant cultural scene that has been shaped by its diverse ethnic groups and complex history. From music and dance to literature and visual arts, Namibian culture is rich in creativity and self-expression. Traditional music in Namibia varies between the different ethnic groups. Common instruments include drums, rattles, embiras and horns made from animal and plant materials. Popular modern styles include kweto, house and hip-hop. The Namibian music scene has produced internationally renowned artists. 
Namibian visual arts draw on both traditional and contemporary influences. Traditional crafts include pottery, basket weaving, wood carving and jewellery making, featuring materials like gemstones and ostrich eggshells. Contemporary Namibian artists such as Andrew Van Wyck, artists utilize diverse media from painting and sculpture to photography. Early Namibian literature was oral tradition, including fables, proverbs and folk tales. Written works emerged in the 20th century, often reflecting the struggle for independence. Notable authors include Joseph Disho, who focuses on apartheid and politics. Recent decades have seen more women writers like Neshani Andreas exploring feminism and gender issues. If you enjoyed this video on Namibia, you'll love this next one.